Tom? Got him. Nice! You got him a grown one. A little snook. Marco Wild. Nice tarpon, man. Get out of there. Redfish. Oh, nice redfish. Hey, and oh, it's a trout. trout. <laughs> we did it. We got the grand slammer. What's up guys, Captain Blair Wiggins here from Addictive Fishing Television. Fishing a spot today that I haven't been in quite a while. It's built up, it's definitely changed, but the fishing is still good. Fishing with Captain Chris Broom right here and we're out of Marco Island. One beautiful place to come and fish. There's snook, tarpon, you got about everything here, don't you? We do, we do. Between redfish and a snook bite, you know, and you know, we get tarpon every, you know, in the spring and things like that. Um, but you know, our snook and redfish are here year round. Cool beans. Let's go see what we can get. So what's holding these fish in here, Chris? So we got a nice little undercut trough that runs down this whole bank. Got a little feeder creek here you can see that's pushing water out with this outcoming tide. You know, it's got oysters in there too, um, you know, way back in there. So these redfish and these snook hold of those oysters. With that trough, you know, it's deeper underneath those trees than it is where we're sitting in the boat. You know, we're only in just a couple feet of water sitting here and, you know, it's deeper underneath there than it is here. So these fish hold, you know, hold underneath there in that shade. They like that shade too a lot. Yeah, they like those undercuts. Usually you'll find them undercuts where you got the tide that rushes in and just hits a bank and then has to split the current. I guess that's what it's doing here, huh? Yeah, that's exactly because it just gives a good From the undercut. back of this bay that comes in from you know from the Gulf, it comes in here and hits directly on the side of this this island and you know just kind of erodes it out. Hey, it would have worked, huh? Nice snook. Oh, are you kidding me? Clip the tail off like this sometimes. Allows these redfish, you know, to catch that bait. A lot of times these big baits swim away from that redfish. That redfish is going to be lazy and wants to eat it right on the bottom. So sometimes it'll mix it up a little bit for them. And we're throwing them in there and they're swimming out so go. fast. There you go. I usually bite them off. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a snooky. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Blair went and proved me wrong. What's that? <laughs> I took the tail off and you got one on a full one. Yeah, we get we get one of those 38 inches. I'll let you give me a hand. With. That's it. That's it. You got it. Little bitty snook. Mm, come on, guy. I don't need your. Oh, you just bit the hook. Little snook. Marco Wallen. Pretty guy. Pretty small. Ready for another one. Yeah, we'll get it started. <laughs> That's just getting them chewing now. Last year, we had a huge influx of small reds. I mean, we'd come out in the February, there was one trip, we caught 70 redfish, and not one of them was over 18 inches. 
And you woke up and you realized you were in Louisiana. No, no, I wasn't in Louisiana. <laughs> we, were, we, were, we were real close to where we're at right now. Here we go. Fish on. Got him. Got him. Nice! Tarpon. Tarpon? Tarpon. I wonder if that's what I had before that busted me. Might have been. But that tarpon's gonna stay out here, I would guess. Oh. Nice tarpon, man. All right. That works. That's it. I'll take that uh well, I'll take that over a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> God, he's just sideways in that current. Yeah, that current so is just thick here. Try to keep him out of those trees on us. He's back here to the back behind us, ain't he? Yeah. Right there. Fun size one. Yeah, I'll take these all day long. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I was up in Destin last year with uh, Pat Deneen. Yeah. And it was so hot up there, I got, uh, actually got uh, heat exhaustion. Really? Nice tarpon, Blair. Perfect size for the tackle we're using. Ha <laughs> ha Awesome. I actually have caught about 125 pounds on this eight footer. Really? That's too awesome. It takes a little while to get them in. But. Yeah, but it's all right. That's what we're out here for is the tug. That's well, what we're out here we're for. We sure ain't out here for this heat. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> he ain't a happy camper. Would you be if you had one of those tro cars stuck in your lip? Uh, no. <laughs> Only if I got a free meal out of it. That's like this it, one. that's it. But I saw him shake the meal away. Come on around here. Yeah, bring him over. Oh, yeah, here he come comes. There. Now he does. <laughs> he got nervous I was walking back over here to you. And they use their body. They get sideways in the current and just, they don't have to swim that much and can use it like a rudder. Come on, tarpon. Let Chris get a hand on you. Yeah, get over here and get you, give you a hand here. We'll get him next time by. I think he's hooked just about perfect though. Yeah, maybe we'll control him a little better now. Yeah, let me see that leader there, Blair. Let's get you a legal catch on him there. Got it. He don't like me yet. Mm -mm. Right in the top of the mouth, Blair, right in the roof of that mouth. He's not quite done yet. Or some talons. You want me to go up with him? No, I'm good. Yeah, he's about done. Got a little bit more on him. Yeah. Looks like a little male. What do you think, pull him in? You right, can hold him up. Give him a shot to the other camera over there. Ah, damn. <laughs> oh, he's pooping. That's it. Good tarpon. Right, perfect. Uh, <laughs> You're not done yet, Blair. Hold him there in the water so I can make him grab those pliers. It's, that tro car went right through the bone. Here we go. You wanna grab him, Blair? I'll get his tail here. Got him? Yep. Here's a hole. Oh, oh, there he goes. Ah. <laughs> oh, well, we need to get all slimed anyway. 
All right, brother. <laughs> All right, man. That's the way to do it. Two thirds of the slam. Yeah. Well, let's now see. If we go get a redfish later on today, we can. Yeah, we'll have, the, have that slam, baby. It's gonna be a good slam. All right. Hey, even a trash can slam is good. It means you're still catching fish. That's it, that's <laughs> it. But it's a whole lot better when it's a glamour fish slam. That's it. Well, folks, what we've done now, we've changed positions, and I think we're still on kind of a, a undercut bank. We are, we are. In this little lagoon we got here in front of us, got a little trough that comes out covered on oyster bars on both sides, you know, redfish and snook coming in here. You know, you got a lot of dead wood. Um, I find a lot, a lot of our bigger snook this time of year on dead wood. Wood is good. That's it, that's it. There he is. Where was he? Oh yeah, that's a good one there, brother. Yeah, good snook. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Right side is close. Yeah, I will really want to get him up there close. Come on out of there. He's coming out now. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Look at that one. Nice fish. Come on over here, Mr. Snook. Is any time it takes longer than five minutes to yeah. three to five minutes? Sometimes, you know they gotta be a good one. Oh yeah, nice fish, brother. Nice fish. You got him a grown one. Yep. Coming back your way here, Blair. Oh. He, he don't like us. He's gonna go the way he wants to. That's it, <laughs> yeah. He don't like us. Oop. That's a grown one for here, brother. That's what we came here for. Oh, you gotta love them over slaughters. And he's caught. Mm. Especially when it takes two hands to grab the That's bottom jaw. Get that trail car out right of his head here. Trail car right in the corner. Beautiful. Oh, nice fish. All right. Oh, I don't want to drop him. God, that's a nice fish. You're all yours, brother. You got him? Yep. What you shaking for? It's <laughs> a good uh, one. I always told people, if I ever quit shaking like that when I catch a fish Big old like Labrador that, head. Oh, yeah. So you've been watching the show. Yeah. <laughs> you know where I got that from? Uh-uh. I got it from Jim O'Keefe down here. Really? Yeah. That's like, man, I love it when they look up at it like That's a big old it. Labrador. You want to hold him in the water for me? Yeah, I'll get him down there. Oh, that's a beauty, brother. Ooh. There he goes. Or should I say, there she goes. Yeah, exactly, for sure. Good job, brother. Thanks, buddy. Good that's job. what we came for. That's, that's, that's what we're here for. That's what you come to Marco Island for. That's it. And we it's ain't far from home either. Beautiful fish like that. You ain't got to run all the way down to the Everglades. Nope. We're basically sitting, what, about 30 miles, 33 miles north of the Everglades right yep. now? Yeah, absolutely. And absolutely. you couldn't tell the difference between this and the Everglades. Yeah, like I said, we're only about five miles from Marco Island right now. <laughs> Short boat one, ride. I'm ready for one of those. Let's do it. Ooh, here we go, here there we go. go. Here we got go. one. There you go. There you go. Fighting like a pretty good fish. Uh, yeah. Not coming up, probably a red fish. Feeling like a red, acting like a red. <laughs> Using this seven footer today, it, uh, it definitely puts up a pretty good fight. Putting the heat to him here. Redfish. Oh, nice redfish. 
be a good yeah. turnip sauce. Yeah, you ain't kidding, especially for around here, buddy. What, is that something you don't have much of? No, we got good fish like that, but I'd like that one on Saturday for that tournament I'm fishing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, he would be good in any tournament. Yes, sir. Any tournament except in Georgia. <laughs> or Louisiana. I don't know, Louisiana, you're allowed a 28. No, it is 27, you're not allowed one 28. Right in the corner of the mouth again. Oh, you got pliers be. on you? Got him there. He wasn't going nowhere. There we go. Good redfish. Yeah. Pretty one there. Man, no scars on him. No, he's pretty. <laughs> Smells good. That's it. Looks like he's got a bullseye for a spot. Yep, he's got a got another one on oh, the other side. The other side's a, a matching bullseye. He's a, Identical. That's it. Very cool. Very cool. Back in the nice water, 26 buddy. inch fish. There you go. We'll let him go go another day. Thank All you, right. Sir. Thank All right. Sir. That's the COVID slide. That's it. That's <laughs> it. Well, last spot of the day, huh? Yep, last spot. Had a pretty good day so far. Had an excellent day. Now, if we can top it off with a trout. If we can, that'd be awesome. Like I said, we came out here, moved out on this outside golf, and we got about four foot of water here. A little bit of grass spread out, a little bit of oysters here. So usually a lot of times we'll catch them, you know, we'll get some trout out here and this stuff, so. It's always seemed weird to me catching trout out. We're basically in the Gulf of Mexico. Yep. <laughs> I've always been used to catching, you know, trout up next to the mangroves or around mullet schools or whatnot. But being yep. out here this far, it's we, this, you know, this is m mainly how we trout fish. And every once in a while, you'll get Ooh, one. Oh, there you go. There you go. All right. Hey, and oh, it's a trout. We did it. We got the grand slammer. All right. Hey, we came out to do it. That's it, baby. That's, That's it. That's what we needed. Not a bad little trout either. No. Man, I tell you what, I love the looks of these trout here. They are absolutely beautiful. They got worms in them here? Uh, you know, our bigger ones do. These ones, you know, this size usually doesn't, but uh, our bigger ones do. That caps off a, a day with a grand slam for you, sir. Yes, it does. Uh-oh, he swallowed that one. He was hungry. <clears throat> here we go. I'm gonna show you all something here. We're in a little bit deeper water out here. You see we're in the Gulf. I took a 16th ounce jig head. That's a DOA cow jig head. And I took the J hook out and I put it in the shrimp just so it'd stay down on the bottom to come out and catch one of those right there. Cause that gives us not just a slam. But a grand slam. That gives us a grand slam, brother. That's it. Well, we'll let that one go see you another day. Absolutely, absolutely. As all of our fish have been released today. Let him swim off and there he, goes. there he goes. Well, brother. What do you say? We came, we did. That's it, yep, baby. As y'all can see, we're back out here. We moved back out in the Gulf because uh, Chris said, hey, let's go out and see if we can get a grand slam. We already got a slam with a tarpon, a snook, and a redfish. Yep. So we topped it off with a grand slam with a trout. If you can do that in a day, that's it. That, that is ain't a, a very bad day successful of fishing. day. Chris, how does somebody get in touch with you, brother? Uh, you can get, get with me on Facebook at Clean Sweep Charters. This guy will do everything he can to get you on the fish. Because, I mean, look at the day today. I, we're sweating. It's about 94 degrees in the middle of the day. But the fish were biting. Ready for some AC and a cool, frosty beverage, That's brother. It, Thanks baby. again, bro. Thank hey, you. if y'all ever get a chance to do this, make sure you go to the website, book Chris, and uh, you can come out here and catch some fish. Also, go to the website. You can keep up with all of our social media sites out there. and. Uh, Keep track of what we're doing, where we're going, and what we're catching. See y'all next week. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to AddictiveFishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Boing. One of the best baits. There he is. Oh, he spit it out. Come on. You're going to get me in there again, Blair. <laughs> You got me hard. <laughs>